Hi, I'm Bruce Green, and welcome to Recnology, the show where we review technology and then maybe destroy it. Today, we're reviewing a custom gaming PC from AVA Direct. First, let's start off with the design. This is actually the Survivor case from BitPhoenix, and it's only about nine inches across, as you can kind of see, not, not too bad, and uh, 20 inches long, 20 inches tall. So if you put it next to your desk or underneath your desk, it'll fit just fine. It's also got this sweet handle up here you can actually use to pick up and carry around, which is, which is very, very handy, honestly. It's also got these rubber bumpers on the side, as you can kind of see here. So if you're moving it around, it's not really gonna scratch up or anything. And now on to expandability. If you wanted to get inside this beast, it would take a little bit because you've got the bumpers on the side, you gotta unscrew both of them on the back, and then you also have to pull off the side, which isn't necessarily easy in itself. But once you're there, it, uh, it, it's got a little room here and there. So for example, you've got the uh, hard drive bays that slide out, which is really, really simple and easy. And you've got the extra video card slot underneath. So if you wanted to do SLI or Crossfire, you're good to go on that. The one thing that sort of takes up a lot of room is you've got the giant heat sink. So if you wanted to like get inside and add more RAM or something, it'd be kind of tough. Avia Direct always manages the cables really, really well, and the case always looks very clean and nice inside. That's something you can always expect from them. Finally, my favorite part of any computer review, the performance. It does have an Intel quad core i5 processor, not the i7, which is sort of surprising, but AVA Direct can overclock it for you. So they can send it to you overclocked. The i5 really, really has a lot of overclocking potential and uh, they did a great job on this one. We have ours to five gigahertz, which is really, really fast. You've also got the GTX 580 video card as well as eight gigs of RAM and an OCZ 120 gig solid state drive. So what does all this mean? It's very, very, very fast. And as the 3D Mark 11 benchmarks will show you, it was one of the fastest computers we've ever tested, especially at this price range. It'll run Dead Island, Deus Ex Human Revolution, obviously any other game on the market right now, maxed out settings, and of course it's future-proof. So, you know, Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, Skyrim, anything else, you're gonna be totally fine for at least the next couple of years. And as the PC Mark 7 benchmarks will show you, It'll tear through compositing, it'll tear through video editing, in addition to being a gaming computer, which is kind of actually rare. And now finally, the price. It's only $2,200. Might sound like a lot, but really honestly, for what you get for the uh, expandability and for the benchmarks, it's really, really reasonable. It also has the three-year limited parts and labor warranty, as well as lifetime tech support. So we're giving it a nine out of 10. Now I lied before, performance is, was my favorite part. This is actually my favorite part, the wrecking, the destroying. Word is throughout the office, Hutch really wants to save this computer. He really wants to make sure it doesn't get wrecked. We're gonna make him eat six saltine crackers in one minute. If he can complete that challenge, he will then save the computer. If not, we're gonna have to destroy it. So let's go find Hutch. All right, Hutch. You said you're gonna save this thing. Oh, is this it right here? This is it. So here are the saltines, and if you cannot do this, Sark himself is going to saw the computer in half. Well, <laughs> Sark's old and stupid, so I don't know how he's going to figure that so out. So are, uh, are you ready uh, You ready to do this? I'm going to yeah. fuck that computer up, Hutch, and no amount of crackers is going to save it. Three, two, one, start. Go. Now you got to swallow the whole thing in 60 seconds. What do we got? Is that Going one? Down. Is that one? That's one. That's two. two. Oh, that doughy wad, huh? All of a sudden, How many seconds have we got? How many sudden. seconds? And 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> Are you going to blow crackers in my face? 30 though? seconds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <That'll> be... <laughs> 40 seconds. 40 seconds we're at? All right. Okay. <laughs> Wait, it's already over? Are you, are, you, are you tapping out? What about the computer? Yeah. Are you, oh, you're not going to be able to do it? <laughs> All right. Fuck that Three, computer two, up, Hutch. One. No. Hold that for me. <laughs> I'm out of here. This computer's good. Let's do this. All right, I am here in the valley in an undisclosed location where it is ridiculously hot. Sark. Are you ready? Hutch needs a new gaming computer. Yep. And that's why I'm excited to cut this fucker in half. Let's, uh, let's do it, shall we? Give me this. Good luck. Oh, feels good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come on, we gotta, let's, come on. Let's go.
So uh, that was a nice cut. Thanks, man. Yeah, was a... I surprised myself on this one. Power supply problems. They'll get you every time. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put Almost. It, look at that. You could put it right together. Exactly in half. Excellent job. They don't make them like they used to, man. 386, that was where it was at. So that's it for Regnology. Uh, hopefully we're going to do this again. And uh, we need your suggestions. Like, we're, we're asking the people, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do oh, next, good. Sark? What would you that's like to good. do next? They're certifiably insane. <laughs> There's going to be a link at the, at below the video. Just click that link. Start suggesting ways to destroy things like this. Let's say it was UFOs. Do you think the government would be able to keep something like that a secret?